Do you want to know all about the brand new, completely redesigned Bear Pro Hybrid mattress? We're going to be talking about that in today's video. Hey, how's it going? This is Owen, and we have our solar review of the new Bear Pro Hybrid mattress. Bear Mattress as a brand is doing a complete redesign of all of their beds, and if you're curious about any one of them, make sure you look down below in the description. We should have a lot of information about these new Bear mattresses. Some of them are quite a bit different, like the Bear Pro. Some of them are pretty much the same with a few little differences, but if you wanna learn all about it, check down there. We're gonna be talking about the Bear Pro Hybrid, though, like what it's actually made of, what it feels like to sleep on, how it's different from the original one, how much it costs, and who might wanna think about getting this particular mattress. If that sounds good and you find this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And let's just dive right in by covering the general policies you should expect if you decide to order the Bear Pro Hybrid. This is stuff like shipping returns, trial periods, and warranties. Now, Bear did send us out all their new beds for free so we could test them out and tell you all about them. But if you get one for yourself, you're gonna start with free bed in a box shipping. Even if you decide to go to a brick and mortar store to buy a mattress, odds are it'll still show up in a box. It's just really convenient. You just bring it inside, you open it up, and you rip off all the plastic wrapping and watch your new mattress inflate. Now, there are a few things I do want to mention about the unboxing process. Number one, you should have someone there to help you out. I've unboxed many beds by myself, and while it's not impossible, the process just goes a lot more smoothly with someone helping me out. Then the other thing I want to mention is that right when you unbox a mattress, because it's been compressed in that plastic wrapping for so long, there's a really good chance the bed might look a little misshapen. It's probably going to feel really soft, and it just might take a couple days for it to fully inflate and reach its proper firmness level. It's totally safe to sleep on night one. You're not going to damage it somehow, but it's probably just not going to be all that comfortable because it's probably going to be pretty darn soft. Once the mattress arrives at your door, that's when your trial period of 120 nights begins. So you have about four months to sleep on the bed at home to really determine whether or not you like it and it works for you and your sleeping preference. You decide that it doesn't within the trial window, you can return it and get a full refund. Brands like Bear, pretty much every other online brand, will ask you to sleep on their mattress for at least 30 nights before initiating a return. This is because it can take a while for your body to adjust to a new mattress, no matter how nice it is and how well suited it is to you. It's just something to keep in mind. You probably won't be returning the bed because, you know, you're watching this video, you're doing a ton of research, good for you. So if you decide to keep the bed, you're looking at a lifetime warranty with the Bear Pro Hybrid. Now, pretty much all lifetime warranties, including this one are tiered warranties so you get more protection in the first 10 years and it kind of wanes after that but it all goes above and beyond the usual 10-year online mattress standard so that's all the policy stuff for the bear pro hybrid we'll try and link some more information down below in the description but that's probably not the main reason you're going to be interested in buying this mattress you're going to, want to know about a lot of other things including its construction and feel which we're going to talk about now so the bear pro hybrid is a pretty big departure from the original bear pro mattress the original bear pro mattress that doesn't even exist anymore was a foam mattress that that was very similar to the original Casper mattress or the original Lisa mattress, just a really nice, accommodating, soft, neutral feeling foam mattress. However, the new Bear Pro Hybrid is in fact a coil mattress. That's kind of what the hybrid means. Hybrid beds are generally coil beds mixed with foam, and all foam beds are just made entirely of foam layers aside from the cover. So this bed starts with a decently thick layer of pocketed coils. Now, pocketed coils are quite a bit different than your traditional inner springs. I've talked about this ad nauseum on this channel. Pretty much all modern beds use pocketed coils as opposed to inner springs because they provide the same level of support while doing a lot better at isolating motion. So pocketed coils pretty much superior to traditional inner springs in every way. Having coils means the Bear Pro Hybrid will be a bit more accommodating for heavier body types. We pretty much always recommend if you're 220 pounds or more to look into getting a hybrid bed as opposed to an all foam bed. An all foam bed will be fine if you're heavier for a number of years, but you obviously want your bed to last as long as possible and a coil mattress will provide more long-term support and more long-term durability. So that is what we recommend over here. So you have that layer of pocketed coils and then right above that you have a transition layer, which is what they call bare dynamic foam. This layer of foam is here to make sure you don't really feel the coils underneath it. And it's also gonna provide you with a bit more responsiveness and pressure leaf. The top layer of foam on the Bear Pro Hybrid is going to be a gel memory foam. And this stuff is gonna behave like you would expect from a memory foam. It's pretty slow to respond and it does conform to your body's shape nicely. However, this layer of foam is fairly thin in comparison to the rest of the mattress. So you're not really gonna be getting a traditional memory foam feel on the Bear Pro Hybrid. It winds up having a more flat neutral feel with a hint of memory foam. 
So you'll definitely know that memory foam is there on the top layer, but because of the more responsive foam underneath and the responsive nature of the coils, it won't be as traditional as something like a Nectar, but you'll get a little bit of that sink in feeling. So if you are a fan of memory foam, I think you'll probably enjoy the Bear Pro Hybrid, but you might wanna look for something that has more of that memory foam feel. And if you are not a fan of memory foam, since it's not the overwhelming feeling of the mattress, you probably won't be too turned off by it. Let's talk about the cover a little bit as well. Before Bear's whole rebrand, they really, really talked about the salient material inside the covers of all of their beds. This stuff was supposedly able to help increase circulation and just speed up recovery times, which is why Bear marketed themselves more toward people who lead a more athletic lifestyle and had a bunch of athlete endorsements. Now with the Bears rebrand, they seem to be de-emphasizing the selling in their covers, and they now rebranded it to Sleep Recovery Technology. All the claims they used to make about the selling cover in the past wasn't really something we were able to prove, although someone who used to be on our team did sleep on a Bear hybrid and swore there was something to it. We don't put a ton of stock into it over here these days. However, since not a lot of brands will use the selling material in their covers, I do think it is still worth mentioning, and you might wanna look into it further yourself if it's something you're interested in. So that's the overall construction and feel of the Bear Pro Hybrid and now has coils. And instead of having that nice soft neutral foam feel of the original Bear Pro, it has more of a neutral feel overall with a hint of memory foam. Let's move over to the subject of firmness now. And we found this bed to be right around a medium firm on our firmness scale. This means it's gonna be most ideal for back, stomach, and combination sleepers. If you're someone who spends the majority of the night on their side, I don't really recommend the Bear Pro Hybrid for you. This is because if you are a primary side sleeper like myself, you wind up putting a lot of pressure on your hips and your shoulders. And if you're sleeping on a bed around this firmness level, it might cause a bit of hip and shoulder pain over time. I recommend if you are a primary side sleeper to look at a mattress that's at least a medium, maybe even a little bit softer than that. But for everybody else, if you are a back sleeper or a stomach sleeper, I think you'll probably enjoy the firmness level of the Bear Pro Hybrid. And just for reference, the old Bear Pro was around a medium on the firmness scale. And there are some softer options available from Bear, like the Bear Star Hybrid and the Bear Elite Hybrid, which we'll try and make sure that are linked in the description. Let's move over to two topics that are gonna be important for couples who might be sharing this mattress, namely edge support and motion isolation. Edge support refers to how well the outer edges of the mattress hold up under pressure, because if you're sharing a smaller size mattress, you wind up sleeping on the outer edges, you can get a bit of that roll off sensation, which can really negatively impact your sleep. Now the coils along the edge of the mattress are actually extra reinforced to help mitigate this problem, and I don't think you'll have any edge support issues on the Bear Pro Hybrid. Motion isolation refers to how well the mattress absorbs cross mattress motion, and if your partner tosses and turns a lot, that can wake you up in the middle of the night and be bad for your sleep. Motion isolation on this bed is pretty good. Pocketed coils do a much better job at isolating motion than old school inner springs, like I mentioned earlier in the video, and because the top layer of foam is a memory foam, that does a pretty nice job as well. It won't do as good a job as a all foam bed that uses a lot of memory foam, like the old Bear Pro, for example, but I don't see it being a major issue for the vast majority of people out there, maybe if you are a really light sleeper. Moving on to the subject of pricing, this is obviously gonna be a really important factor for you in deciding your next mattress. If it doesn't suit your budget, then you're probably not gonna buy it. From what we've observed, when a mattress becomes a hybrid and now it has coils, the price tends to go up instead of down, but the Bear Pro Hybrid kinda did the opposite. The Bear Pro Hybrid has a queen size MSRP of about 1300 bucks, which is already pretty competitively priced. However, Bear usually offers really heavy discounts throughout the year, and after discounts, as I'm recording this video, you can pick this thing up for around 850 bucks, which makes it one of the more affordable hybrid beds that we've tested over here. The bed will also come with two free pillows, which is always nice. Being able to kind of upgrade your whole sleep setup in one purchase is always a nice route to go. Pricing is always subject to change though, especially after a brand has done a pretty significant overhaul of their mattress lineup, so this price might change. So make sure you look down below in the description for what's current on the Bear Pro Hybrid. And that leaves us with the question, who should think about picking up the Bear Pro Hybrid? And I think that's a pretty easy question to answer. If you want an affordable hybrid bed that's also noticeably firm, I think this one is a pretty solid option. I think the feel of the bed while having that hint of memory foam is pretty generally accommodating for most sleepers. I don't know how many people will lay on it and think it's strictly uncomfortable. If you're looking for more of a memory foam feel in your hybrid mattress, you might wanna look at the Nectar Hybrid. That one has more of a traditional memory foam feel, but I think this one will be generally pretty accommodating and it's really budget friendly. But let us know what you think. Write us down below in the comment section. We'd love to get your thoughts. And again, tons of stuff in the description to help you with your online mattress search, so be sure to take a look. If you found this video helpful or interesting, make sure you give it a thumbs up and you subscribe to the channel. But that's gonna do it for me. This is Ona Seen at Home. I'll see you in the next one.